622 now, the Great American Eclipse will take place this afternoon. And here in New Orleans, we will see the sun slowly start to shrink around 1230. Yeah, and we have these eclipses fairly often. This is the first time in years it's coming right across Central America. But exactly how rare are these celestial events? Alexa Trishler has that story. The April 8th solar eclipse will be an awe-inspiring view for millions of people across North America. So if you're wondering how rare solar eclipses are, I dove into some numbers to check it out. So from the year 2000 BC to the year 3000 AD, yes, these are predicted to the year 3000, 11,898 eclipses of all types have or will occur. That equates to two to three per year of all types. Remember, there's those four different types, total, partial, annular, and hybrid. That also equates to only two total eclipses every three years, so they are pretty rare. It'll take 1,000 years for all of the United States to see a total eclipse. So from the years 2021 to 2040, the United States didn't see that much action when it comes to solar eclipses. But from the years 2041 to 2060, we will see a lot more action across the country, which is definitely amazing and very lucky. Now, the question is, why don't they happen more often? Why don't they happen every new moon? Well, the reason is the moon's orbit is tilted. The moon's shadow is often too high or too low above the Earth. It must line up perfectly to eclipse the sun. So how long do solar eclipses usually last? They usually last that path of totality, that maximum eclipse, anywhere from 10 seconds to seven and a half minutes. The longest duration on the April 8th eclipse lasts four minutes and 28 seconds in Mexico, and most places in totality will see around three and a half to four minutes on the April 8th date of that special solar eclipse that we will see across the country. Of course, weather does play an important factor on if we can see this right, especially along the Gulf Coast. In early April, on average, we see about 50 to 60 percent of cloud coverage, so hope, hopefully we'll see less clouds on April 8th, some more sunshine, so we can view this eclipse here in New Orleans, we will see 80% coverage, not bad. We are fairly close to that path of totality, which will pass through Texas all the way into Maine. So the big question is, when will New Orleans finally be in the path of totality? Well, it is happening several years away, but the next time New Orleans, at least the New Orleans area, will be in the path of totality will be in March of 2052 and in May of 2078.